Over 500 dogs a week come into our training facility for dog obedience lessons. If you want a dog who's super motivated and focused and working for food just like these guys, this is the go-to recipe. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. If this is your first time on the channel and you consider your dog a family member, then you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. We post new videos every single week to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. So let's talk about the ingredients in this dog treat recipe. It's really simple, just a few ingredients and they are one cup of flour, one can of tuna, one egg, and a quarter cup of cheese. And we're going to talk about the cheese in a minute because um, there's something you can do with the cheese that'll make it even more enticing for your dog. But let's get started. First up, let's add our one cup of flour to the mix. And then we're going to add our one can of tuna. Now, truth be told, I hate tuna. I hate the way tuna smells. Uh, I, I hate the consistency of tuna. However, the dogs love it. Uh, I, I, we all know how keen their sense of smell is. And I think that's part of the, uh, you know, the allure of these treats is the stinky smelling tuna is, uh, you know, something that the dogs really, really like and something they really enjoy. But we're just going to break up that tuna and we're actually going to add the water as well. Okay, and in goes our egg. Let's see if I can do this without uh, leaving any of the shell inside the mix. No, I actually did a pretty good job, I think. And finally, in goes our quarter cup of cheese. Now, um, we were just talking a moment ago about how, uh, you know, a, keen a dog's sense of smell is. So choose something like a medium, or this is actually old cheese. It's, it's much smellier, a little bit stronger, and your dog's gonna like it a little bit more. They're at least gonna be a little bit more interested in the treat, especially if you've got a picky dog. The smellier the stuff, the smellier the ingredients, uh, the better, the more likely you are to have a dog who loves these treats. Now some of my cheese grating was a little bit messy, so I'm gonna have to clean up what's left. Uh, I didn't get all of it in the bowl, but next up we're gonna mix this all together. Our treats are now pretty thoroughly mixed and this is the point where we're going to put the treats into a pan to go in the oven. Now, if you had an 8x8 pan, uh, this one's a little bit bigger than that, but if you had an 8x8 pan, this, is, this recipe is going to fit like exactly into that size, but generally, uh, if I go about half the width of this pan, it's usually you know pretty close to being the right amount, but I'll show you really quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to take our ingredients out, take our mixture out, we're just going to place it into the pan. And we're going to flatten it out a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Now, I don't know whether you guys can see this at home, but it's uh, the, the uh, I've spread out the recipe until it's about a quarter inch thick, maybe just a little bit thicker. Um, and now we're actually going to put it in the oven. Now we're actually going to bake this twice, but the first time we bake this, we're going to put it in at 350, but it's only going to go in for about 20 minutes. Okay, so our treats have spent 20 minutes in the oven, uh, and I've just taken them out, and the whole house uh, smells like tuna. But what we need to do now is, actually we're going to separate the treats from the pan, and we're just going to turn the treats over. We're going to turn uh, the, the beginning of this uh, these tuna treats over and onto a baking sheet and we're actually going to cut them up into the appropriate size the appropriate sizes of treat. The last thing you want to do is have great big treats that you're treating your toy poodle with, for example, if we were using Hippie Shake or your small breed dog. You don't want to have great big treats. Maybe a half the size of your thumbnail is sort of a good rule of thumb. We actually have a video about using treats and moving away from using food in your training and I'll post a, a card to it above me here somewhere so that you guys can have an idea of uh, you, you aren't going to be dependent on using food in your training or using food to train a trick, but it's a really great way to start. So let's get into cutting these treats. Now it's really helpful to have something like a pizza cutter. Uh, you definitely don't need to use one, but it's going to make cutting your treats just a little bit easier and a little bit more precise. So have a look at the size that I'm going to be making these treats. We're going to put our treats we're going to put our treats back into the tray and we're going to put these treats back into the oven and this time we're going to put the treats in at 275 for 40 to 60 minutes and you're going to want to check out, uh, in on them after the 40 minute mark. Now about 50 minutes have elapsed since we put our treats back into the oven and I've been checking on them frequently uh, since about the 40 minute mark and they look to me like they're just about ready 
to go. Yeah, they look pretty good. They look like they're ready to go. Now what we're going to do is uh, pour these out and we're gonna break them up so that they're just little tiny treats. The really great thing about these treats is that once we've cooled them to room temperature, we can start using them right away, but they'll last, if we keep them refrigerated, they'll last uh, approximately a week and we can use them anytime. Something that I like to do is uh, separate them into training uh, portions, you know, so I might tr you know, put a handful, let's say, of treats into a Ziploc bag and then I put it in the oven or put it in the refrigerator and each time I want to train my dog I can take that little section or that little pouch of treats out and I've got a perfect amount if I'm waiting for my um, coffee to be ready or uh, you know in the afternoon if I've got a couple of minutes and I want to work on something with my dog I can use that portion of treats. The other great thing is uh, if I want to train a trick I can take a couple of those little bags out and uh, teach my dog to do something really cool like um, you know how to uh, teach a dog to do the best buzz trick like uh, I'll post a link above but uh, teach them how to do that best buzz trick and these really really high value treats are a great way to uh, make sure that you're successful with that so I hope you have fun making these treats and I know our little border collie beeline really really likes them now if this is your first time on the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button we publish new videos every single week to help you spend some quality time with your dog you see that video over there that's one of our trick training playlists and you can use your brand new treats recipe to teach your dog a really cool trick. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training. Mm -hmm.